welcome down to North London N17. Northern City rounding out their pre-season with a trip to how Michael Johnson is between the sticks. Charlie McDonald, naturally a midfielder, slots in to play centre-back on the left-hand side of the three. Raul Silver and Nathan Carlisle alongside him. Van Bowery has picked up a knock, so it's listed as a substitute, but most likely won't make an appearance. Girasulo starts as one of the two tens alongside Zane Banton. Dylan Farge and Jack James are firing up the wings on the left and right-hand side. Holly in midfield, Ben Smith and Ryan Blackman. Top Mitchell Beach starts again. Sean Jeffers only makes the bench. It's nice to, nice to be back though. It's um it's good to have a spell kicking on, but it's nice to be back with a little bit more experience. So. Very warm reception from the Saints fans as well. Ball down the sideline to Rasulo. Ball played across the middle. Vies nearly got a touch there. A few inches away from being able to tap that one in. Keeper seemed uncertain. Stop taking the chance on, on your leg. He's naturally a right-sided player. Could have had a hat-trick in that game, actually. He looks good. It really suited him. He was up and down and, yeah, looks looked really strong. So, um, no, certainly we've got a good uh, competitive squad here. So, it's um, that's always how you want it to be. So... Chance on the right-hand side for Haringey, straight into Michael Johnson from Arthur Notton. Sulo to Banton. Back to Batman. Really hard to stay serious with that guy. <laughs> Falling towards V. He's couldn't quite get there. Rasulo. Looked like he got to the ball first. Shout of a penalty, I think, if it had been there a little bit earlier, but um, I think he's just nicked the ball there. There's a hand up the left hand side. Ball chipped over. A chance here for Haringey, shot deflected in behind for a corner, that was a big opportunity for them, Johnson couldn't have got there had that deflection been slightly more goalwards. I think you're just relishing in the atmosphere aren't you? Yeah, just taking it all in, Mitchell Vies is through, in oh, past the goal, he's nudged it past the keeper and in and Mitchell Vies does his fourth goal of the week, I think. The AstroTurf might have caught the keeper out there. I'm not really sure what happened there. It's um, it's definitely slowed up and he's uh, poached it for his legs. So, um. Yeah, the ball definitely slowed down. Yeah. Keeper was caught out and he's caught out by the edge of his area as well. He needed to go with his feet if he was going to go for it. We're going to play the ball shorter, I think. Cross comes in off the short corner. Second chance shot. Just got a bit too much underneath that. Sliced it high. A few terrace houses. So, um, I was trying to think of the game on, on TV last year on the, on the FA Cup where I think each house had the, the number put on the back of the fence so that if the ball went over, they could go and collect it. Mitchell Vies has gone for a lob and he scored a second. Mitchell Vies took it on. It was Asulo who did the hard work. Mitchell Vies just looks so nonchalant as he's just perfect, perfectly lobbed the keeper. left-hand side, lovely ball from Dane Banton into the path of Farge, Farge now going to go with his left foot over towards Vies, Vies' header just over the bar cracking ball in absolutely superb ball from Dylan Farge I don't think the ref seems to mind that there's a second ball just sitting in the corner now, there's released Banton in the middle, there's Haringey players all in one Pack in the middle, Banton goes through for Asulo, if he can beat the keeper there, 
It would have been on for something the keeper this time gets it right. Back underway in the second half of their final pre-season fixture with Harry A. Burrow. Dylan fires up the left hand side. Comes inside onto his right foot. Tried to curl that one into the corner, I think. Nearly went in. Ben White stayed alongside me. And obviously don't get the chance to watch Spurs as much. Um, blessed with a St Albans City home and away commitments. I would say it's probably a blessing for you. Lovely move from Masulo, but just loses his footing as he breaks through into the box. Whatever I watch on TIFO, basically, when I'm bored. <laughs> Chance in the middle for Avalola. Cross is going to come over. That was dangerous. No one responded in the middle for the Saints. Couldn't quite be punched in at the back post by Kennedy. Cross comes over. He's headed towards goal. It's come off the post, and Ryan Blackman will. Try and clear, Johnson punches away and it'll fall into Ben Smith. The Saints have got away one there, really. We love a message in. Gone for goal from the free kick and it's gone in. Inside the post, they did the double wall, Harringate. And it's come off for them, just curled it round and into the left-hand corner. Definitely a dangerous position, but right, I'm Young sure. with the free kick. That's hell of a ball. It's all over. Touch wasn't the best. There's a chance on goal. It's loose in the middle. The silver clears it away. Chance for the second ball in for Harringate. And Farage does well to disrupt, and Kieran Gautier will clear that away in towards Sean Jeffers. Ball over the, the left hand side for Harringate. Charlie McDonald covering. Going to come back inside, shot on goal, blocked away by Charlie McDonald, but there's a second chance now. Georgiou covered back well. Now, chance down the sideline. Jack James covers well again. Oh, looked like it had gone to me, but. That's going to the linesman. Here's Bobby Dunn. Struggling possession, gives it away on the halfway line. Now a ball through from Harringay. McDonald's having to cover. His body's in the middle for Harringay. There's one on the edge. Here it is, a shot. It's off the post again. Saints, another let off from the woodwork. As I said, I think he was he's just been more worried about Sean than anything else. So um whether Sean's got back into it. Shot from range and Harringay and if you're gonna do that you have to hit it considerably better than that. Plays it through into Blackman. Blackman first touch doesn't quite go as planned, so now Harringay have a chance to break again. in the middle wasn't good enough from the Harringay man and Ryan Blackman superbly wins the ball and puts it out for a throw in. Really? Jeff is down again, no free kick given. And here come Harringay, ball played over the far side, Farge covers well. Second chance for Harringay though, down on the sideline. Ball played into the middle. Wasteful shooting again from Harringate. Ball in from range, straight into the arms of the trial. This goalkeeper, there's a chance on the left hand side if they do want to go quickly, but. Flag's got to go up there, mate. I don't know how Haringa haven't got a shot on goal from that chance. They've had a couple of yard head start from the offside and then still not managed to get a shot away. 
Anton wrestled to the ground and pinned and no free kick given. And we have a chance to go again. Dylan Fires wins the ball back high up the pitch and now here's Bobby Dunn in the middle. Going to go out wide to Georgiou. George with his left foot, flicks the ball in, it's loose in the area. Sean Jeffers, I thought he was lining up an overhead kick then. He's got form for those, now here's Banton. Banton just dizzying the ball with his feet. Clips it into George, who leaves it for Bobby Dunn on the far side. Bobby Dunn goes past his man, played into the middle, everyone's missed it. And now Harry have the chance to get clear. Bobby Dunn in the middle. And tries to break away, flicks the ball away to Georgia now. The right-hand side goes to Albans. Still leading by two goals to one over Harry and Gay Burrow. Here's Bobby Dunn, plays the ball across the Bantam, wants to go from the right-hand side. Straight at the keeper. Bobby Dunn couldn't get onto the ball. Blackman beaten and now Harry get the chance to go again up the right-hand side. Chance for a ball across the face, a goal. Great work from the keeper. He's got his body in the way of any shot. Blackman breaks through the middle. He's got options left and right. Jeffers to his left. Bobby Dunn to his right. Goes right. Dunn's offside. It's a great drive there from, uh, from Rackers, but um, the time of the run. It would have been the last kick of the game had he have got it but it ends here the two first half Mitchell Weiss goals the difference a late free kick from Haringey wasn't enough to pull them back into the game it ends Haringey Borough 1 it's another C2